Thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions. In this video we're going to solve a problem to determine the bending stress on a simple supported beam. Our task is to determine the maximum bending stress on a simple supported beam under a uniform load along the span and a point load at the center of the span. We are also given the dimensions of the beam including its length, the section shape and its dimensions. Before doing any calculations, we need to settle a couple of items. First one is that in order to determine the maximum bending stress, we need the maximum bending moment. This takes us to our second item, which is that a simple supported beam with a point load at the center and a uniform along its full span will have its maximum moment at the center of the span. Now that we know what to aim for, we can start our calculations. First, we need to determine the reaction at point A or B. I will pick to find the reaction at point A. We need to sum moments about point B. We are going to establish that our moments will be positive going counterclockwise. Our equation for sum of moments will look like this. Sum of moments at point B is equal to our known reaction at point A times the distance to point B, which is the full span of our beam. This moment will be negative because it's turning clockwise. We then need to add the moment produced by the point load at the center of the span. We multiply the point load by the distance to point B, which in this case is half the span. This moment is positive because it turns counterclockwise. We now need to convert our uniform load along the full span to an equivalent point load. We do this by multiplying our uniform load by the full span. The location of this new point load will be at the center of the span. Then we will multiply this point load by the distance to point B which is half of the span. And all this is equal to zero. We then solve for the unknown reaction at point A. Using our algebra skills, we acknowledge that we can cancel out few L's. We then clean up our equation and should look like this. Finally, we plug in the values for the variables and determine that the reaction at point A is 2500 pounds force. Now we are able to find out the moment anywhere along the beam. Since we need the moment at the center, we are going to cut through the center of the beam. Our diagram will look like this. We also need to establish our shear and moment conventions. The shear will be positive going up and the moment will be positive when turning counterclockwise. Before jumping into our next set of calculations, we can determine the section modulus for our given section. Since the cross section for the beam is a rectangle, we can determine the section modulus by multiplying the base of the section times the height squared and divide the whole thing by 6. That will give us 96 cube inches. Then we sum moments about point 0 which is equal to our reaction at point A times the distance to point O, which is half the total span. This moment is negative because it turns clockwise. Next, we need to convert the uniform load into a point load. To do this, we multiply the uniform load by the length under analysis, which is half of the total span. This new point load will be at the center of the span under analysis, which is a quarter of a total span. In the diagram, I have assumed that the moment will be positive, turning counterclockwise. That is why we insert it into the equation followed by a plus sign. Since we are summing moments about point O, and that is the exact location of the point load, it will not contribute to the moments at this particular location since the moment is the product of multiplying the load 
times the distance to the point under analysis. We then equal this to zero and solve for the unknown, which is the moment at point O. We plug in the values for the variables and determine that the moment at the center of the beam is 15,000 pounds force per feet. Finally, we determine the maximum bending stress by taking our maximum moment and dividing it by the section modulus. There is a small final step in order to get the correct answer. That is to convert our moment to pounds inch or to convert our section modulus to cubic feet. I have decided to convert the moment to pounds inch. Our result is 1875 pounds per square inch. This same process can be followed to determine the bending stress at any point along the span. Thank you for watching the video and I hope that it helped you in some way. Please do not hesitate to contact me with any questions or comments. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thank you.